يا رب هل من توبة تمحو الخطايا والذنوب وتزيد Brothers and sisters, the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم explains to us also that a person's dua depends on how much you nag Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Did I say nag? Yes. How much you nag him. Subhanallah. When you nag a human being, what do they do to you? How do they respond? Huh? They get frustrated from you. They become annoyed from you. They don't even want to see your face anymore. They get so annoyed that they might get angry at you and frown at you and say words that you dislike. Something like, God, you are so annoying. But when you nag Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the more Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves your nagging. It's the opposite. This is why the Prophet said, people come and they say, I made dua and I made dua, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not respond to me. The Prophet said, so then he gives up hope. وَيُقْلِعْ عَنِ الدُّعَى And he stops making dua. And Allah would have probably almost about to respond. Do you see? Never give up hope in your dua. Nag Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, اُدْعُ اللَّهَ وَأَلِحُ فِي الدُّعَى Ask Allah and nag Allah in your asking. Nag Him. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves the servant who nags Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In another hadith, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam explains that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sometimes likes to delay the response when his servant is asking him and calling out to him because Allah loves Allah loves his servants to praise him and to mention his name on their tongue because he loves them so much that he wants his name to be mentioned on their tongue more and more. And Allah sometimes delays the response because if He knows that through that delaying you are rising in your levels in the hereafter, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala only wants you to come closer to Him. You know that there are levels in Jannah. And the higher you are, the closer you are to Allah. So Allah sometimes may delay the response to your dua because He wants to hear His name being mentioned on your tongue because He loves you. And he is lit, raising your level in Jannah so that on the day of judgment you are closer to Him. <laughs> so if you like, because Allah loves you so much, He delays the response. How's that? But there isn't a single dua of a mu'min except that it will always be responded to. If not in this life, then in the hereafter. Some people they think Allah has betrayed them in their dua and they worship Allah well. Don't ever think that. Because Know this, if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala cares for you, and He does, if He knows that what you are asking is actually going to cause more harm to you, He will not respond and He will leave it till the hereafter. Because Allah says in the Qur'an, وَعَسَىٰ أَن تَكْرَهُ شَيْئًا وَهُوَ خَيْرٌ لَكُمْ You may hate something when it's actually good for you. فَعَسَىٰ أَن تَكْرَهُ شَيْئًا وَهُوَ خَيْرٌ لَكُمْ Maybe you may hate something which is good for you. وَعَسَىٰ أَن تُحِبُّ شَيْئًا وَهُوَ شَرٌ لَكُمْ And also you may love some, well you may love something which is actually bad for you. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give you something if He knows it's good for you. You have to rely on Allah. That's the test. Do you rely on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Of course. Then depend on Him and don't worry. Allah, Allah subhanahu, He is your dua all the time. Allah's dua is so full of mercy and Allah is so compassionate that He will even respond, listen carefully, He will even respond to the kafir. Wallah, He will respond to the kafir, the disbeliever, if the kafir calls out to Allah alone. Did I just say a kafir's dua is responded to? Yes. If on condition that the kafir calls out to Allah alone and does not associate partners with him.
doesn't go to the priest and ask Allah through him, doesn't call upon Jesus, Isa alayhi salam, and calls on to, no, calls directly to Allah, the only one. My evidence, it's in the Quran. In the ayah where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and when they are in the sea, in their, in their boats, a heavy storm hits them, and they are about to be flooded and die. So they call out to Allah, مُخْلِسِينَ لَهُ الدين, Sincerely to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And so Allah saves them. And when they are saved, إِذَا هُمْ يُشْرِكُونَ They are back to polytheism. They are back to making partners with Allah. The point from this ayah is that they are mushrikeen. They are associates. They make association with Allah. Otherwise Allah will not say that they go back to polytheism. So they ask Allah مخلصين له الدين Allah saves them because they called out to Him and when they are saved they go back to shirk. Why do we why do we abuse Allah's name my brothers and sisters? So Allah responds to the kafir when He calls out to Him only. Another dalil Jibreel alayhi salam once <clears throat> as he was delivering a message to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam he laughed. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam asked him why are you laughing ya Jibreel? And he said, if only you were to see what I was doing to Fir'aun when he was drowning in the sea. What were you doing, Ya Jibreel? Alayhi salam. He said, I was going to the bottom of the sea and grabbing dirt, soil. And I was throwing it into the throat of Fir'aun because I was afraid that Fir'aun may stumble on words to call out to Allah to save him and he would have. I feared that Allah's mercy may reach him if he stumbled on some words calling out to Allah's mercy. That's how merciful Allah is.